Iron is an incredibly important element in our body. The normal level is 50 to 175. And let's talk about why we need iron so much. So when we say iron, you need to be thinking about the blood. All right, so hemoglobin is is an important part of our, our red blood cell, right? And hemoglobin is made up of two portions. It's made up, the, up of the heme portion and the globin portion. Heme is the iron portion of hemoglobin. All right, so heme is made, made up actually of iron. And what hemoglobin does, it actually transports oxygen from our lungs throughout all of our body to the different cells in our body and delivers oxygen to them to carry out ATP. And most of the iron in our body is actually located in hemoglobin, but some iron is actually stored in, in uh, located in the myoglobin, as well as in the liver and bone marrow and spleen. Okay, the storage form of iron is actually referred to as ferritin. And iron is transported throughout our body through by a protein called transferrin. So the ferritin and the transferrin, an easy way to remember that is the, the chemical symbol for iron is Fe. Okay, so ferritin, Fe, and transferrin, transporting ferritin, uh, transporting iron. So really what I want you to really do when you think iron, though, is just to think of blood, think of heme of the hemoglobin. And that's really the iron portion of of hemoglobin. So the reason we're going to check that is to check, are we going to be able to produce hemoglobin as we need to? Uh, and then if we are not able to produce hemoglobin, we have issues with uh, carrying oxygen and transporting oxygen in our body. So that's why iron is incredibly important to check and to understand. So some of the reasons we're going to run it are to uh, assess for blood loss, assess for anemia, thalassemia, for example, and to assess for malabsorption of iron. So even if we're taking in iron, are we able to use it? Are we able to use that uh, and, 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 get in, and use it throughout our body as we need to? So some things that are going to cause increased iron levels are going to be lead toxicity, iron poisoning, acute liver disease, hemolytic anemia, and some things that are going to cause decreased levels are going to be blood loss, uh, GI bleeds, heavy menstruation, chronic hematuria. Uh, other things would be like hypothyroidism, iron deficiency anemia, and then poor intake of iron. So we really watch this, uh, especially in our in our pregnant women. We watch to see if they have adequate iron levels to to have the blood supply that they need. So iron is really important, and I want you just when you hear iron, I want you to think of blood, and I want you to think of hemoglobin. Thank you for listening to our podcast today. Nursing.com is the trusted learning hub of all future nurses, your secret weapon for passing nursing school with your sanity intact. We want to invite all our listeners to visit us online and take advantage of a special promo offer. Just head over to nursing.com slash free. That's nursing.com forward slash F-R-E-E. And check out the free resources and other goodies that we have there just for our podcast listeners. Until next time, go out and be your best self today. And as always, Happy nursing.